it was a room. As a matter of fact, the room was so small. I remember I was able to open up the window and close the door while sitting on the bed at the same time. It was like eight feet by eight feet by nine feet. The one thing about that room, there was really very little distraction. So I would sit there, propped up in bed, and I'd just start writing these these stories. And so I went to California, and I moved in the valley, and things weren't going very very well there. As a matter of fact, I had to go out and try to sell my dog because it was either. Uh, do that, or, or uh, he just was not going to be very well fed around the house. There's something about the process of unrealized dreams. I was always brought back to this subject because I think it's one of the most enduring subjects and one of the most difficult passages for people to accept that they never were realized in their own lifetime, that they just didn't get that shot. And then one night, I went to see uh, Muhammad Ali fight Chuck Webner. That is probably what I need as a catalyst for an idea. A man who's going to stand up to life and take one shot and maybe go the distance. So I started to write. And it was one of those writing frenzies. And three days later, I came up with the script of Rocky. Now the script by no means was a finished piece of material. It was probably about 90 pages and maybe 10% of it remained in the final script, but it was done. And I believe I was there on, on a, a, a casting call. So we're talking a little bit and I guess I really wasn't right for the acting part. And on the way out, I said, oh, I don't know if it matters, but I do a little bit of writing. He goes, really? I said, yeah, I'm writing this, this story. This, uh, I have this thing about wrestlers, and I might do something about boxing. Well, he goes, well, bring it around. And I thought, if I hadn't stopped on the way out, you know, that's why I tell all actors or writers, don't give up, keep talking. Eventually, you might hit a nerve somewhere, and they go, ah, come on back. If they didn't say, come on back, or bring it later, and let's see what you've developed, I wouldn't be sitting here. So I have to give incredible credit to their, uh, to their insight and their patience and they're willing to take a chance, which um, it doesn't exist much anymore, unfortunately. When I brought the script to them, they were fairly enthusiastic about it. The one thing they were not enthusiastic about was me playing the part, and, and I really can't blame them. At the time, Ryan O'Neill was a, a candidate, Burt Reynolds, Robert Redford, Jimmy Kahn, and they all you know, were, were at the top of their game. And so I could see it, but there was something inside of me that, that, you know, this opportunity is never gonna come around. And I really wasn't used to money, and I had no idea what I would be missing. But the temptation started to come forward. First it was uh, 25 grand, then $100,000, and another hundred thousand, because I had like 106, dollars to bank and like I said I had to sell my dog and things were not looking very very good uh, my $40 car had just blown up so I was taking a bus to work and but still it, it didn't matter I wanted to stick with it then it went up to 150,000 175,000 went up to 250,000 now my head was starting to spin and it went up to 330,000 and I heard it went up to 360,000 and I thought all right you know you've really managed poverty very well. You've got this down to a science. You really don't need much to live on. I had, I had like sort of figured it out. So I was not in any way uh, used to, to the good life. So I thought, you know what? If I, I know in the back of my mind, if I sell the script and it does very, very well, I'm going to jump off a building. And if I'm not in it, there's no doubt about it. I'm going to leap in front of a train. I'm going to be very, very upset. So this is one of those things where you just roll the dice and you fly by the proverbial seat of your pants. Say, all right, I got to try it. I got to just do it. I may be totally wrong and I'm going to be taking a lot of people down with me, but I just believe in it.